Whether you need to simplify your life, cut costs, be closer to the grandkids, or maybe address some medical needs, most seniors know when it's time to downsize, or how I like to refer to it as right-sizing. For some, this process could be stressful, both physically and emotionally but it doesn't have to be overwhelming. Today, I'm gonna to share my top eight tips to make the right sizing process a whole lot easier, both for you and your loved ones. So let's get started. Give yourself plenty of time for this process. It's gonna take a little bit longer than what you expect. Be gentle with yourself and don't even attempt to go through your entire house in a week. A month is more realistic. If you're not rushed, this process will be a lot less stressful. Hi, I'm Lisa Kelly, Lakeland Homes and Lifestyles with Premier Realty. Now that you've given yourself permission to take this slow, where do you begin? You're gonna take one room at a time, but don't start off in a large room or a room that has any kind of emotional or sentimental attachment. Instead, start off small. The laundry room or a linen closet are good options. Leave the garage and attic for last. And be realistic about your needs as you go through your things. For example, if you're moving into a two-bedroom apartment or a house, four sets of sheets are plenty. The rest can go. Your next step is to eliminate rooms that you won't have in your new home. If you're moving into a condo or an apartment, for example, you may not have an office space or a garage. Nearly everything in those spaces will either need to be tossed, donated, sold, or relocated to another room. These areas might have items that are really great for consignment as well. Nice office furniture or outdoor tools are much more valuable than, say, older sofas or mattresses. If you're like me, I have way too many spatulas, nine different kind of stock pots, and every kind of cookie sheet you can imagine. Now is the time to reduce the clutter. If you just can't get rid of that huge roasting pan, because that's the one that you cooked that 25 pound turkey in, consider giving it to a child or grandchild so they can bring it over for the holiday and take it home when they leave. When you start going through years of belongings, there's gonna be some things that tug at your heartstrings and you'll be tempted to make that third pile to keep if you have the space. Be strong, don't fall for it you'll end up with a bigger maybe pile than the other two. The idea here is to keep moving forward. If you need to take a break, take a break, but don't make a third pile. And please don't fool yourself by saying you'll take certain items and just deal with it when you get to the new house. It won't happen. Take a hard look at every item you pick up. It goes in the yes or no pile, period. Most likely, you're not gonna have room in the new house for those large curio cabinets that you have your collectible figurines in, or maybe your collection of porcelain dolls. But here's an idea that you can keep all those things and still share the memories they hold. Have high resolution photos taken of all your things. Then take these photos and put them in a nice hardback photo book. Display this on your coffee table so you and your guests can enjoy all the stories that each holds without the clutter. If you'd like a step-by-step, -step, very detailed plan how to declutter your entire house in 30 days, you'll want to check out my three-part series. I break down these steps to easy-to-follow daily tasks that anybody can do. Do you have a huge grandfather clock or maybe an antique china collection that you had planned to hand down to a family member or a loved one? Consider giving those gifts now. This has two benefits. You'll be getting those items out of your way. But more importantly, you'll enjoy the feeling of giving those items to your loved ones now. I know for some of you, these tips may seem like there's no consideration for nostalgic or sentimental items. Which brings me to my last tip. Give yourself all the time you need to reminisce as you're cleaning and sorting. It's okay to pause and let nostalgia take over. Cry if you have to. Take a break, move to another room and come back. That's why my number one tip was to start early. Just don't let these pauses prevent you from getting the job done. Change is hard for everyone. Don't let apprehension get you down. Instead, look at your new environment as an adventure and a new chapter in your life. If you're in the very beginning thoughts of maybe right-sizing your home and just a little curious what's available in 55 plus communities in the greater Lakeland area, I put a link below. Enjoy.
I'm Lisa Kelly, and until then, I'll see you on the next one.